What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> What is good? How you doing? This is Taz with Taz and Philly. Uh, Philly hopefully will be on tomorrow. He's been waiting for some much needed new video equipment. Thanks to some of the monies from some of our fantastics, he was able to get some equipment because uh, the one he's been currently using has been very spotty. So um, can't wait to when my best friend will be able to frequently record with me again. But uh Got to keep the show moving because that's what us teammates do. So uh, I want to give you some reactions. Now, it's funny because I just realized this. I didn't even know until just now, actually. Um, a moment ago, I don't know which order you're going to see these, but a moment ago I just reacted to Flora Janssen, a song of hers. So not realizing I'm about to now react to Sabaton where Flora's husband's on here. So yeah, her husband. Isn't that something? She met Hans before me. It's okay, Floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm silly. But um, Sabaton is a Swedish band. Really, really cool. We've reacted to a few of their songs, like their flow, like how they make their videos just so uh, extra special. Like they really take pride in it, and they always have a meaning. They always are relatable to history. Um, so this one is called Primo Victoria, which um, means victory first. I know a little bit of things. This is a shout out request, and this goes out to Rex Regis Peter. That's all one word, Rex Regis Peter. Thank you so much for requesting this song. This song is for you. Please help us support our artists. If you like music and you come on here, let's support music. So in our descriptions, I'll have the link to the song I'm going to react to. Please go there and like and comment to help the song out. And then I'll have the link to Sabaton's YouTube channel. Please go there and subscribe. It's free and it helps out Sabaton. If you like the song, if you like them, help them out. But like, comment, and subscribe to us first. Help us out. <laughs> so um, we're very close, not that far away from 10,000 subscribers. So please tell everybody that you know, that you like, to go to our channel and subscribe. Please, once we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're going to have some cash virtual prizes and some other cool stuff that you won't know about until we reach 10K. So be a part of the journey. We're very, very close. Thank you for everybody that has subscribed and who come and visit us. Please keep visiting us, like it, and commenting us. And also, if you like, please share some of these reaction videos on, other, on your other social media sites. Let's spread like musical wildfire. But anyway, I'll shut up. I want to hear what this song is all about, and then we'll commentate. I'll commentate afterwards so here we go through the gates of hell as we may cut away to heaven through the nazi lines
my brain didn't know what to do because at first I was really vibing off the music and I was jamming. But then I was like, what is this about a real life event of war and people dying? And my brain is like, is it okay to bop my head? But then I'm like, well, yeah, because this is the music I'm listening to. It's not like I'm bopping my head if I was actually there at war. That would be kind of odd. So, but it makes, you know, it's appreciative of what they do. The fact that they make history into song, because I'll be honest, history has never been my favorite subject. Hated it in grade school, hated it in high school, hate it now as a grown ass man. But when Sabaton was introduced to the channel, they don't make me hate it because they turned it into song. I wish they thought of that back in school. Like, um, you know, besides just having us read books, like some of the teachers would have each student like read a paragraph in a history book. And like, I'm like, oh, but I'm a visual person. I forget what that's called. I think it's just called visual learner. Um, uh, so if they had like videos or something, documentaries, something that was a movie or something for them, I would retain that better than just reading typed print. So I like Sabaton's flow. So this was definitely about D-Day, um, June 6, 1944. You know what's interesting about them? I, I, I can't remember if that's how the other song sounded, but I'll just go by this one, just the one I'm reacting to. The way that they... um put together the video and like the lyrics it almost sounds which is you know saddening and creepy a little it almost sounds like the people that were actually there going to war wrote this song like so i mean that's a good thing then i mean yeah it's a good thing forget the hesitation it's a good thing though um I don't know if that was their intention or it just happened to, to that. Hey, it, to me, it sounds like that, but maybe to other people, it doesn't sound like that. But it's like I almost got like a chill up my back because, I mean, I can't even imagine what that feels like. Like if you're on your way to war, you have no freaking clue if you're going home in a box or not. Very, very saddening and eerie. And if you're like singing as you're going there, like a, a chant, you know, or a positive victory song because you know you think positive you should always go somewhere and agree about the battle in a positive note because if you go there assuming the worst you're not going to give it your all it's really weird it's it's i don't know i have no idea what they felt like mentally going there but this sounded like they wrote the song or their thoughts oops their thoughts or whatever like came through sabaton as they were singing it so very interesting. I mean, I, I liked it. I like it. I like it. Um, so, yeah, so they did it again. Really, really cool. This felt like it was a shorter video from them. I'm so used to their videos being like, I think like nine, ten minutes long. This was like three minutes. So I was like, wait a minute. But it was still powerful. And then it was that moment where like the music stopped because the tank broke through and like Sabaton was buried under rocks, it felt like. And then this tank just took part of the song for just that moment. So that was very powerful. Um, it made it very real life at that very, very moment. Uh, so yeah, I like the way that they do things again. I wish, I wish there was a Sabaton type group back when I was in high school. Cause I probably would have got an A in class and not a damn C thanks teach. But, um, <laughs> but in any event, um, very good. So this comes to the part of the show where we always give our thumbs up, pass thumbs down, ass boom. Stop playing around. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Let us know in the comments how you felt about this song. Is this your first time hearing it like it was myself? I never heard it before. Um, let us know your thoughts. Give us any other suggestions for Sabaton uh, that you want us to react to, and it'll go on the list. So, um, yeah, pretty good night. I don't, this might be the first night I, pre I reacted to Sabaton and Floor in the same night, you know, so... I guess like the two songs could kiss Florin and Hans. Did I just say that? I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> Hi, Flor. Call me, so I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, hey. But anyway, um, this is Taz with Taz in Philly. I want you to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>